All right, a major topic in tonight's State of the Union address will be immigration reform. The president says this must be a bipartisan deal and that we must secure our borders, all while finding a solution to DACA. My next guest knows firsthand how important border security is. She represents Arizona's 2nd District, which is right on that border. Here with me right now, Congresswoman Martha McSally, who's also running for Senate. Thank you very much for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. Um, what do you want to hear from him on the immigration front tonight? Well, I think he's going to continue to show leadership on the issue and a commitment to finally secure our border. I'm one of only nine members of Congress that actually represents a border district, and I chair the Border and Maritime Security Subcommittee. And I have ranchers, residents, people in our community in our state uh, that are dealing with cartels continuing to traffic through their property. It's a public safety risk. It's a national security risk. And the opioids that are coming through are coming to cities all across the country for the crisis that we have. So we finally have a partner in the White House that is is willing to secure our border, to get operational control of it, to do whatever it takes for our agents to be able to intercept cartels and stop this illegal activity. And I think he's going to be very strong on and it. And Representative, where you are, I mean, this is this is not a partisan issue, right? I mean, no. you don't see a tremendous amount of divide. It, it, no. if, if you've got these illegal groups trafficking through your yes. backyard, it, it doesn't matter whether you're a Democrat or Republican. You don't want that happening. You want your community to Exactly. I represent a very diverse community. My guest tonight is the sheriff, uh, Sheriff Mark Daniels from uh, Cochise County, which is a border county, 80 miles of the border. And he will tell you as well, those are out there just trying to make sure that their families are safe. It doesn't matter what your voter registration is. We've got to stop this activity that is threatening the livelihood of our ranchers and the public safety of our communities. And we need a full revamp of our strategy. It needs to include a border wall where appropriate technology, agents being unleashed to do uh, everything that it takes to have intelligence-driven operations, to have situational awareness and operational control of the border. Well, that's all in the plan, as, as we're anticipating tonight. He's going to talk about $25 billion that needs yeah. to be set aside for that border wall. But he's also talking about offering a path to citizenship for 1.8 million people that are here illegally. Originally, the number was expected to be around 690,000, effectively the dreamers, uh, but it's been expanded. And my question to you is, how is that going to fly in Arizona? Yeah. And how is that going to fly elsewhere in the country with his base? Because the base is going to be important for him yep. and for you uh, yeah. running for Senate. Well, for our part in the House, uh, I have a bill put forward with some of our teammates, and it addresses what we believe are really the root issues that the American people we represent care about. Strong border security, cracking down on sanctuary cities, ending the visa lottery, ending chain migration, uh, Kate's law being a part of it, making sure that those who have been deported or are violent, that there's greater penalties when they come back, cracking down on gang members. Okay, and what happens to everybody that's here already? So for the DACA recipients, we provide a three-year renewable legalization. It is not not a special path to a green card or citizenship. They could existing paths, like marry a U.S. citizen or have an employer sponsor them, just like everybody else. It moves us towards a merit-based approach. Uh, and so this is the bill we've been working on for five months. I appreciate the president's leadership uh, trying to come to the table and negotiate in good faith. And honestly, I think he put the Democrats on their heels oh, last yeah. week. I, I, and I think it has. His negotiating skills, I, I right? think they're saying, oh my goodness, because now, by the way, Congresswoman, if he says, that, you know, if they were to say no go, well then what are they going to send all these people out of the country and take the blame effectively for it? Well, I think their true colors were revealed, the leadership anyway, with their extreme statements last week. Mm -hmm. uh, the types of things, I won't even repeat the types of things they said, but here you have the president willing to show leadership. We're in the middle of these negotiations. They're messy. But then they reject it wholesale. Uh, and so I think people need to ask themselves, are the Democrat leadership really wanting to solve this issue or are they trying to play electoral politics with this and drag it out? I think they're afraid the president might actually solve something that has eluded <laughs> that previous presidents. I mean, it's like Nixon in China, right? I mean, right. it might take Donald Trump, president of the United States, to actually right. find a, a way forward when it comes to immigration reform. Right. And I would tell you, our base is excited to see someone who's willing to secure yeah. the border and chain migration and the visa lottery and make sure we don't have another DACA population in the future. That's the whole issue that we're hey, focused Congresswoman, on. Congresswoman, great to see you. Thank